what up it's kp the sports chick so i mean i hate to no i don't hate it i love it when i am right what are you talking about christy well i'm talking about what i said about tony romo what i said about Dak prescott early 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 in the season actually before the season started i said if Dak Prescott does really well, meaning, and when I mean really well specifically, I said, if it, because before the season started, he was given the six to eight week timetable, right, for a back surgery when he broke two of his vertebrae, six to eight weeks. Sorry, face. Anyway, so I said at that time that if he does it, you know, when he comes back, if, if, Dak has taken them, you know, six, six and one, or with the bye, it would have been, you know, five and one, and, you know, or like four and two or something like that, then, I'm sorry, I'm saying five and one, six and one, or uh, uh, five and two, then there's no way that they're going to pull Dak for Tony. I mean, does that make sense? No, it didn't. And you know what? Every week I've been saying, before they even started talking about Tony Romo even practicing, I was saying, they're not going to take this dude out. When are they going to finally just own that? Just own it. Be accountable. Take responsibility, then be accountable. Take responsibility by saying, yeah, we did say that Tony would come back and just start, but... He's not Dak's going to start. And you take accountability by saying, sorry, we weren't up front with you about that. Heck, we weren't even really sure. But now we are. And this is how it's going to be. I respect the Cowboys organization so much better. But instead, we got weeks and weeks of, well, Tony's our guy. He's totally going to start. Or, you know, we'll just see where it goes. Or we don't think Tony's ready yet to come back. So now, I see a report on Bleach Report on Wednesday, this Wednesday of this week, saying that Tony Romo will not play unless he is absolutely, I'm sorry, absolutely needed uh, by the Cowboys. You know what that says to me? That says he's not playing unless, you know, barring injury or... Dak just does something really, really stupid at the wrong time. And possibly for like two games. Like, I don't think they're going to just take him out to the first loss. Um, that would be the only way Tony Romo is not going to be holding the clipboard, wearing the headsets for the rest of the season. Because, I don't know, if I'm Tony Romo at 36 with multiple back surgeries, multiple collarbone breaks, multiple multiple injuries I wouldn't feel a sense of relief that I can just take my time and heal other than just come back out but you know the competitive manness edge and ego pride says that he needs to be out there and first of all I don't even think he needs to be out there at all this season but if he's trying to get his job back I always root for the underdog but you know we're playing with fire here. I mean, this is a we're talking about organization, a corporation in the Dallas Cowboys. America's team, the most popular team in the world, um, basketball or football, and or really any sport. And you know, can't play around. And they really, really I won't say lucked out, but they really chose well when they got Dak Prescott. So they're not gonna lose their their X factor just yet. They're not going to do it. But see, the thing is, is that they finally said something. That's what I've been waiting for. I've been doing videos for a couple weeks now saying, just tell us. Just, we know he's not going to, don't say he's going to come back for sure in week eight. Don't say that. I mean, I'm sorry, after week eight, because they have week, uh, by week. Don't say that. Um, Don't give us any de definitive answers. They learned their lesson after the whole we're going to have him back in week eight deal. And after that, it was just kind of like, well, he's throwing the ball around a little bit, but we're not sure. But I'm so glad that they finally came around and said, Tony Romo is just, you know, 
not ready yet, but he won't play. And we don't know when he will. Um, and again, brings up the question, is Tony Romo worried about that? Um, should he be concerned for his job? Absolutely. Would they trade him away? Probably not. They probably tell him to retire before he moves around like that because I feel like being the son-in-law entitles you to uh, front office jobs or scouting for the rest of your life if you're married to the, the daughter. So what do you guys think? Did they take too long in telling us? Because I sure think so. And do you think that Tony Romo should be worried about his position? Um, do you think Dak is still going to be as gracious about giving it, getting, giving it back over if they told him to today? Mm, I really don't know the answer to that, but you let me know. Hit me up at KP Sports Chick on YouTube. You can go to kpsportschick.com. It's my social media hub where you can find other places and other parts of social media for you to comment on, uh, like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all other fun places. So hit me up. I'm also on SoundCloud doing the morning drive um, every weekday morning uh, before 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock uh, Central Time. So check me out.